Hi, I'm Professor Robert Rawson. I'm a Professor of Musicology and Historically Informed Performance, and I teach here on the Master's Programme. The Master's Programme is a professional qualification and a really exciting opportunity to further your professional skills for the world as a working musician or teacher, as well as possibly a pathway to further study, such as a PhD. I'm a composer, I'm focusing on chance indeterminacy and aleatory and how I can open up the experimental music world to those beyond academia. At master's level I've managed to explore areas I wouldn't have originally considered. I've turned toys into instruments, I've done more stuff on electronics which I was too scared to attempt at the beginning of the year and now I'm going head first further and further into it. The best thing about studying here at Christchurch is the amount of support you get from your tutors and the departmental staff. I've been in music education for 20 years or so. I wanted a new challenge for myself and I chose Christchurch because my partner did his undergraduate as a mature student in history. And I was really impressed with the level of support that he got during his studies. My creative project is focusing on accompaniment skills and I'm accompanying a range of other instrumentalists from the course which I'm really enjoying. Accompanying is something that I'm looking to pursuing after I finish my master's degree. Within the performance module I had the opportunity to play in front of the Philharmonia chamber players which helped me develop my confidence in front of people and developing my skills as a performer. The benefits of studying part-time is I can balance workload with uni work and working outside of uni and then I can develop my skills over two years. When you come to Christchurch to do your Masters, um, you do have the set modules that you do, but you get to pick your own essay titles and anything that you're interested in. So it's really good if you want to explore lots of different options or if you just want to continue advancing your knowledge on your main study. Um, so for example myself, I did some stuff on my previous saxophone pieces for analysis which helped me to understand them more deeply. There are four pathways for Masters students to follow in performance, conducting, composition and creative audio, or independent research project and it's up to each person to decide which discipline will help them to develop the skills that they want for their future career. In the programme students supplement their principal study with core modules in research methods, contextual studies, analysis and criticism and with option modules in either aesthetics, music psychology and education, creative project or performance project. That combination of modules helps them to develop skills that support their principal study and to investigate the contextual areas around that that will really help them to become a specialist in the area that they've chosen. We often have opportunities for our composers to work with professionals to realise their projects and for our performers to be coached by international artists in their field. And we also have opportunities for students to meet with research professionals in the many different areas that they might be working to help them to develop their projects and think about how they can extend those even further beyond their master's degree.